Well, a lot of these are artists that uh, I've met over the years, or artists I respect, or artists that I've collected at some point. And I wanted to have a really eclectic blend of whether it's somebody who does collage or somebody who does painting. I don't normally do portraits of people, but I love Quentin Tarantino, so I had to do a Quentin piece. I made this with a bunch of garbage and some clay, and uh, it's hard as a rock. It's covered in acrylic paint and varnish, and um, had some fake blood coming on the ear. All my work somehow honors the strong, independent woman, and Hush Puppy is this, this fierce creature, wise beyond her years, through a tough life situation. She gets to just get stronger and stronger and learn her place in the universe. I, I work in collage, so I found some ads for the, for the film. I was able to find some early handwritten scripts, lots of stills from the movie. I try to work quickly and then stop while the energy's still there. This is my new painting that I created, inspired by two of my favorite films, Malcolm X and the other film is Cry Freedom. In both these movies, we have Malcolm X and we have Stephen Biko. I see these two characters as heroes of our struggle. My thing was to bring these two heroes from two different parts of the world, in South Africa and America. I know that there has been parallels between the African-American struggle and the South African struggle. My painting draws the two struggles uh, together. These two characters were, for many years, misunderstood, and they paid dearly with their life for uh, the freedoms that you and I enjoy today. I found the documentary called Crum, which is celebrating our Crum, the famous underground cartoonist who was a big influence on me. And I used one of his characters, Mr. Natural, and sort of used that character and manipulated it into this sort of or psychedelic mandala. I like the idea of that eternity and just the, the motion that it represents and the cycle of life and you know also this sort of the motion that could be related to film, animated film, uh, or even the, the, the rotation of, uh, of a film reel. I'm one of those eternal optimists who believes that you know that art changes the world and will continue to change the world and shape people's lives and their thoughts and our, our dreams and hopes and aspirations and you hope that a show like this can continue to, to plant that seed.